everyone! So as you already know if you follow me on social media, I recently went skiing. But what you may not know is that I've been skiing since I was 5 years old and it's one of my favorite sports of all time. That's why today I want to tell you about all the things that you need to pack for your next skiing holiday and let's just get started! So I'm going to kick off with all the things that you need to wear while you're skiing and the first layer are thermals. So thermals are really, really important because they retain body heat and they will keep you super warm on the slopes. I bought mine from a company called Devault and they're super comfortable and the one thing about them is they don't smell so you can wear them as many times kind of as you want and they will not smell which is super important if you're going skiing for like a week. So the thermals are your first layer and after that you're going to put on a fleece, a tight fitting sweater, something to just keep all the heat in. On top of that you might want to put on another layer if the day is quite cold and I have this cute turquoise sweater from Nike. Again, it's really good to have thin layers and lots of them as opposed to one really bulky sweater because A, if you have a really thick cotton sweater or a knitted sweater, it might retain moisture inside it and freeze, which would be extremely uncomfortable, but B, it's good to be able to take your layers off if you go to upright afterwards or anything like that if you just get really warm just skiing down the slopes. And after that, the pièce de résistance, the jacket. It's really quite trendy nowadays to wear bright trousers and a bright jacket, and I'm all for it. I love bright colors, and I think this is super cute. So mine is from a company called Kios. Kios? I have no idea how to pronounce it. Um, they make really cute outfits, but they are quite expensive. I bought it on like super, super, super sale and it was still very expensive. So you can definitely get more affordable ones starting at like 40 pounds, 40, 50 pounds easily. What you're looking for when buying a skiing jacket is you want it to have one of these belts around your waist because it will just hug you very tightly and it will make sure that no snow gets in. And this is super important whether you're a beginner or you're quite advanced. I said I've been skiing since I was five years old but my boyfriend and I went off piste and I fell like a million times and this saved my butt from getting super cold and just me looking like a snowman so super important. And last but not least when you're skiing you really really need good salad pets. Salopets is just a fancy word for skiing trousers and you want to get ones that are wind and waterproof, same as your jacket. So that is almost it when it comes to your skiing outfit, but not quite. What you really, really need are good old fluffy socks. So I have these two pairs, as you can see they're really tall socks and they're super, super fluffy on the inside and they will just keep your feet really warm and that's super, super important. And I normally wear another normal pair of socks underneath them just to be safe. Same as you don't want cold feet, you really don't want cold fingers and cold hands because that will make the day a pain in the butt. So I have these two pairs. What some people want to buy is gloves with a little protector here so that they don't break their wrists. I tried them for snowboarding. I wasn't a huge fan, but if you would prefer that kind, then definitely by all means go for it. That's it for gloves. One more add-on that I would really recommend is a buff. So a buff is basically a snood type thing that you just bunch up and you put it over your head and then you don't rob a bank, what you do is just ski in it. Um, and you can wear it like this or you can get ones that cover your entire head so they just look literally like you're a robber. Uh, but they're super useful. But I have to say I wore this one and I was quite disappointed because it just froze. It would just freeze on my face literally and make me colder as opposed to, you know, keeping me warm. So this one wasn't super useful, but yeah, invest in a good one and it will make a world of a difference. Another thing you might want to bring out with you are hand warmers. So I have these really, really cute ones that my boyfriend got for us from Fat Face and they're so, so, so cute. The good thing about these heat packs is they're reusable. This is what it looks like once it's been used and then you just have to pop it in boiling water and it will just, I don't know, reset itself. 
they're really quite hot and it's a nice treat on the top of the slope because sometimes you will just be really freezing and having a really bad time with it and wanting to cry and then these will save you so get them. If you plan on bringing out a thermos or your GoPro or anything like that I would also recommend getting a backpack because your pockets will not fit everything. And I have this one, which I really, really like. The material is reflective, so nobody will miss you on the slope. And it's just tiny. It rolls up like this, and you can, pre you can pretty much put this in your pocket, so that's impressive. And the last thing you will want to bring are skiing goggles. Now, mine look a little something like this. So as you can tell, they really complement my eyes and they're like super cute and like they go with my face shape and just kidding. But you do want to get these because they will make skiing much easier. So mine have a special glass that changes color depending on how sunny it is, which is quite useful. It doesn't always work 100%, but they do work 99% of the time. Mine cost 65 euros, but you can get them for like 30, 40 euros. So up to you how much you want to invest. And finally, if you're planning on getting a drink on the slopes, you might want to bring sunglasses because um, goggles just aren't that attractive. So I brought these ones and these ones. The ones on my left hand are from Escada, so they're a little bit too fancy. I didn't actually end up wearing them and they're just a little bit too nice for skiing, so I would recommend bringing a pair more like this. And these are from Super Dry, and they look like this, and are super fun to wear, and go with my outfit. So, as for the skis themselves, I just rent those on the spot, but if you have ones of your own, then by all means bring those. Also, please, please, please rent a helmet. I know they're not particularly sexy, but it's super important to keep your head protected and you know what else is not sexy? Having your entire face destroyed because somebody ran into you and then you ran into a tree and now you look like this. So, just don't do it to yourself. Those were all the things that you will need to go skiing, but there is a lot more to skiing than just skiing. You may have already heard of Après ski, which just basically means getting really, really drunk either on the slopes or after you've come off the slopes in the town. For the normal clothes, I would genuinely recommend keeping it quite simple because everyone would look super sporty and if you're planning on bringing stilettos, you will just look stupid. I'm sorry, I kind of wanted to do that myself and then I saw one girl in heels and I was like, Okay, so what shoes should you bring? Well, I brought these snow boots, which are very heavy and sturdy, but they will make sure that you do not fall on your face, unless you're super drunk and then it's just your fault. I got these from Solomon and I would highly recommend getting a pair like this, but if you would like to look a little more stylish than something like these fake Timberlands, or you know, the real Timberlands if you want to invest, um, yeah, that would be good, especially if you have a nice spray to just impregnate your shoes with, you're good to go. One more pair of shoes that I would recommend is just a standard pair of sneakers. I didn't bring these and I really regretted it because I had to wear those huge shoes all around the hotel and it was just a pain in the butt. Another thing you should obviously bring are normal trousers. So I brought this sporty pair to just sit around in my hotel room and, you know, just chillin', and then jeans. Jeans are super versatile, you can wear them on the plane, you can wear them for apres, or if you're going to a nice -ish restaurant, just, just bring jeans. As for tops, I just ended up bringing loads of different colored tank tops, so some a little like this, just super simple, and then you can perhaps wear a necklace if you're feeling underdressed but it's not a fashion show on the slopes, so, you know, just keep it simple. Maybe a black or gray or pink or green or yellow or whatever other colors there are. Just a long sleeve t-shirt like this might come in handy. And then I would highly recommend a plaid shirt because I love plaid shirts. And it's super warm and cozy and you can just layer it on top of your tank tops if you're feeling cold. So I would highly recommend bringing something like this. 
You will also want to bring a hat and gloves because the ones that you're wearing on the piece are not the ones you're going to want to wear once you're off it. So I brought this pair and then these ones which are probably a little too thin for really, really cold resorts but if you're going somewhere where the weather is quite warm-ish then you might be able to get away with them and they're super cute. And as for the hat, I have the coolest hat ever. you can layer them underneath your jeans and they will keep you warm. When I went skiing, it was about minus 10 degrees Celsius and it was super cold so I was just putting on all the layers I had. Depending on where you're staying, you might also want to pack a bikini because you might have a pool in your hotel or there might be a pool in the town so it's always just worth having and then not using it as opposed to not having it and wanting to use it. One more thing you'll want to bring are lots and lots of tissues because if it's quite windy your nose will just start running and you want to keep them in pockets of all of the jackets you're bringing because yeah, you just, you just want to bring them. That should cover all the things that you need to wear on your skiing holiday but I also wanted to mention all the skincare that you should be bringing. First up, you'll need a really good moisturizer with SPF. This is really important because although it may not look sunny, the sun is really strong on the mountains and you just really want to protect your skin. So this one has SPF 30 and it's super, super cheap, so I would highly recommend getting this one. You'll also want to pack a night cream because night creams are usually oil-based and that will really retain the moisture in your skin. So just put this on at night and let your skin rest. You could also bring a nourishing face mask if you think you're going to have the time to use it. I didn't actually have the time to use it, but it's tiny and it fit in my makeup bag, so why not? Even if you're staying in a hotel that will be providing shampoo and stuff like that, I would still recommend bringing a hair conditioner and a body butter or a body lotion, anything like that, because your skin will be quite dry after a week of skiing or so. One more thing I packed this time, which I do not normally pack, is stuff for tired legs. This is definitely not something you need, but I actually found it quite relaxing just lying back after a long day on the slopes and massaging this into my legs. So, up to you! And finally, speaking of dry skin, your hands will probably get really dry if it's cold, so pack a really good hand moisturizer. I got this one from my mom for Christmas, it's called Snowball, so it was the perfect one to bring and it smells amazing. Probably keep this in your skiing jacket. I'm not even joking. Just anytime you get to take your gloves off, just put this on and let it soak in. It will keep your hands nice and not cracked. So yay for that. Well, that's it for me today. I really hope you found this packing list helpful for your next skiing holiday. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I missed out. And please subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos every Friday, I think. Yes, every Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. No, don't leave. Why don't you stick around and watch more of my travel videos? And don't forget, new videos every Friday.